Hi, if you're one of my subscribers, you already know that I'm Travel Grandma. Now, I've been traveling in my minivan for one year. Can you believe it? I can hardly believe it. Over the past year, I've learned a lot and I've shared a lot with all of you. And as I read your comments, there was one thing that stood out the most. So many of you were saying, I wish I could do what you are doing. And I'd answer you and I'd say, I wish that for you too. You know the reason that I end all videos by saying, see you on the road? It's because I'm confident that one day, if you really want to, I'm going to see you on the road. I've met a lot of you and it's been great, but you know what? I haven't met as many as I would have liked to meet this year. So for my one year anniversary, as they say, I made arrangements to do just that. What do I mean? I want to celebrate by inviting you to not just meet me, but camp with me for 10 days this summer. This is your opportunity, if you're ready, to learn from those, and not just me, that are doing this. And to also meet those just like you that are just getting started. For many of you, this will be your maiden voyage. And what better way to go on a maiden voyage than to camp with people who have been there and done that and are so willing to share their experience and even hold your hand a little bit along the way. This camping retreat, as I'm calling it, will be a learning experience that I hope will leave you feeling more confident and more ready for more adventures on the road. There will be experienced nomads there to show you how. And trust me when I say that we're just like you. We're no different. Everyone started somewhere. And the best thing about getting together is to let you know that you're not alone. All you need to do is show up. It can be as simple as that. Show up in something that you can camp in for as long as you can stay. Up to 10 days, 10 full days of free camping. All you have to do is get there. You can camp in a tent, in a car, an SUV, an RV. Um, what else is there? A travel trailer? So pack some change of clothes and grab some grub to eat and head to Colorado. You don't need a refrigerator. You don't need um, a power station and solar. There are people that will be at that meetup that will share resources with you. You don't even need a stove. When I camp, I share. And in my experience with the women that I have camped with before, they all share their gadgets too. All you really need to do is make sure that you bring everything that you need 
to be self-sufficient and to take care of your own needs for the time that you will be gone. That means don't depend on anyone else to feed you, to clothe, or keep you warm or cool. That's your responsibility. I think you get the point. Bring what you need, but consider the fact that less is probably more than you're going to need or use. If you are willing and open-minded enough to maybe rough it a little bit. In the description of this video, I'm going to put a list of essentials that I think everyone should have on hand. Now, if you're the type of woman whose style is more glamping, which is perfectly fine, I'm all for glamping, I'm very much a girly girl. And guess what? I got you covered too. After all, this is a camping retreat. So, expect to be treated well and expect to pamper yourself. Now, I can't guarantee you that we'll make it up to the mineral hot springs because it is a bit of a drive. I checked into it and I think the closest one's about an hour and a half away. We definitely, if you want to, can take a day trip up there. We'll see who's interested and maybe those that want to go one day will do that. But that's optional. But what we are going to do is things right at camp. We're going to be doing some self-care at camp and it's going to be so much fun. But if that's not your bag, don't worry about it. You don't have to participate in anything you don't want to participate in. No worries. Now before I forget, let me give you the dates and the general location. The dates are July the 8th to July the 17th. The location is Walsenburg, Colorado. That's in the central southern area of Colorado. The exact location will be disclosed to you um, after you sign up. The focus of this camping retreat is to help you develop a healthy mindset and turn your fears into freedom. This is a women's only retreat this time. Women will be invited at another camping retreat, but just not this one. This one is just for women. Pets are welcome. And water and electricity will be available for those of you that may be running low or running out. Again, even though we are going to have water and electricity available, don't solely depend on it. Bring things that you need. For instance, if you need to charge your cell phone, bring something to charge it. There will be a dumpster for trash, and we're planning on renting porta potties with the sanitation supplies. But for the most part, this is going to be a dry camping experience for you on raw land, but on safe private property. It's a five acre piece of property that we'll be camping on, and there are some trees, but in the common area where we'll be gathering to do activities and our workshops and where we'll have the water and extra electricity and things like that we're going to be putting up uh, shade canopies now the july weather 
is usually in the mid to high 80s. 88 degrees is considered the average for that time of year. So staying hydrated is a must. So on your list of what to bring, I suggest you bring um, a container that you can keep filled with water. Now, nowadays the weather can be pretty unpredictable. There could be a thunderstorm for a couple of hours, you know, one or two days while we're there. But you know what? I'm not worried about it. That's part of the learning experience. Let me give you an example. I just got back, and these videos will be um, airing soon, from a two-week camping experience in the Redwoods. Two other women were with me the whole time, and one of the women is actually the woman who is offering up the land that we're going to be camping on. Now the day that we arrived, it was raining. But you know what we did? We put our cars close together and we figured out how we could set up a tarp between the cars so we would have a covering to all sit under. It was so much fun. Well, then it had been cloudy for a few days and the solar just was not kicking in. So our power generators were pretty low. But you know what? We figured out a way to get them charged. It's what we do. We figure it out. And whatever obstacles or things that come about, together, all of us will figure it out. So don't let weather hold you back. You know, there's not too much I can do about the gas prices. That's a bummer. That's really a bummer. I'm going to be traveling a thousand miles to get there. So it's going, I calculated that it's going to cost me $200 one way. So a total of about $400 in gas to get from my home in Southern California to Walsenburg, Colorado. But guess what? It's gonna be $400 well worth it. Heck, you can go to a campsite and spend that much on a weekend just in fees, in camping fees alone to get your spot. So just think about it. Think about what this means to you and if you're ready to go for it. I'd love to have you. I'd love to meet you. I'd love to get to know you and I'd love to help you. Learn the things that I've learned over this past year. If it gets too hot, we'll just take spray bottles with water and sit in front of fans. Or you know what? There's a lake very close by and we'll just carpool down and get our butts down to the lake for the day. We are very resourceful women. So don't let the weather hold you back. I think it's going to be great. It's a very dry heat and it's not like the east where it's very humid and sticky and uncomfortable. It's not like that at all. It's very different. And I think you'll be surprised. Now the town nearby has a supermarket, a laundromat, there's shower facilities. Although I think we'll do just fine where we're at as far as getting cleaned up. I have a shower tent and others do as well and you're more than welcome to use it. We'll have plenty of water to take showers. And like I said, there's even a Walmart there. Now the land that we'll be camping on is being offered by my very first 
Patreon subscriber, Liz Marquez. Thank you so much, Liz. It means the world to me. Now, I mentioned before that we're going to be putting up canopies. We're going to be renting a porta potty. We need to get a dumpster and trash pickup. There needs to be sanitation supplies there. Firewood is expensive. So what I am asking is that everyone contribute $50 to help pay for those costs. I can't afford to do this any other way. You know, bring all your own stuff. That's great. But we've got to provide certain things for you as well. Like I said before, the camping is totally free. There's no cost to you at all. But it would be so helpful if you all contributed to the cost of the things that we want to have there for you. Now I said before that it is a full 10 days, but you're free to come and go as you please. If you're only able to come for a weekend, come for the weekend. If you can only come for a couple of days, come for a couple of days. Of course, I'd love it if you could come for the whole time, but you're not obligated to stay. And all the money is going to be used. If we have any left, maybe we can have like a, a dinner together or something like that. Um, we'll figure it out. Now I have already opened this up to my other patrons and to my Facebook community. So some spots have already been taken. I would kind of jump on this if you want to get in. I don't want it to be so big that people feel lost. Now here's the thing. Here's what you're, you're going to have to do. Because I don't know you personally yet, although, you know, I kind of feel like I know a lot of you because you comment all the time. And to protect the safety of everyone going, you will need to join my Facebook community in order to sign up. On my Facebook community, you will have access to my phone number and I will contact you and I will share all the information that you need for getting there and answer all your questions once I have direct contact with you. So hop on over to my Facebook page if you're interested in attending. Just go to facebook.com groups travel grandma and you'll find me there. You can also connect with me through my Patreon page. It's just patreon.com slash travel grandma. I need to know who you are before accepting your reservation. It's important for me to ensure that the women that are coming feel safe with everybody that's coming. I hope you understand. And guys, remember, we're not counting you out because the next one will be down in Quartzsite, Arizona in January. And that will be for guys and gals alike. I am so looking forward to meeting those of you that can come. And I'll see you on the road.